Hello. So I'm here to um, demo this new thing that I made. It's called uh, it's called envelope. No, nice envelope. Sure. Okay, so it's called Nice Envelope. Sweet, because that's a sweet name. Okay, so basically the way it works is this. <coughs> uh, oops. Um, okay, so you can have this envelope here, and it's triggered every time you hit a MIDI note, and you can map it to anything here. So when you hit a key, oops, sorry, this is this. Uh, Let's turn that off for a sec. So when you hit a key, it does your envelope. Uh, sometimes you have to change these things. Well, actually, here we can just do that really quickly. OK, so uh, you can do this. Just do this really quickly, sustain, whatever. Uh, uh, good. Okay, cool. So now when we press clear, right, uh, we can adjust the length of the envelope, the time in milliseconds. Right, that sounds pretty nice. Let's open that up. Uh, uh, and it will tell you what parameter you have it mapped to here, like it says time delay. We can do it. Right? And then we can kind of make our envelope different if we want. We can put a sustain point, and then we stay there. We let go, it goes to the end. Or we can do something like this where we say stop when we lift the button. So no matter where we are, when we lift the key, it'll stop. Uh, so then, so that brings us to the, oh right, sorry. And then there's one more thing that you can do with this, which is kind of nice. And it's create these uh, mapping things. So, for example, say so. Oh, okay, so press Shift to delete <laughs> nodes. You'll your nodes. You'll need that for sure. So, say you want to invert the range. Actually, let's make this easier to understand. Let's put this one here. This one here. And let's go back there. Okay. So, if I want to invert the range, I just put this backwards, right? And then you can also. It's just sort of like an envelope within an envelope. So this one's, if this one's straightforward, it's kind of easier to understand this one. Or you can like, for example, add a bit of curvature by holding Option. You know, curve your points or, hell, just put all sorts of weird shit in the way. And now, so that's one aspect. Now, when we make this even more complicated, shit just gets really out of hand. Right? So, there's that, which is fine. You can do some weird mappings. And it becomes especially helpful because this envelope is just mapped one to one to all of these guys, but you can mess it up in here. So each one could be slightly different, right? So, say this is my envelope for number one, and then I have the inverted version for number two, and I have a whole different version for number three, and for number four, it's all wacky again. You know, so you can really get crazy with this, and it enables you to get a lot more juice out of just this one envelope thing, uh, which I kind of like. So these ones are all related to this one thing, but yeah. Okay, so there's that. This is now. Now we get into the second part of this, which is the ability to generate an envelope randomly. Um, Every time you hit the key, it makes a new envelope. And here you can decide how many points are going to be in that envelope. A shit ton or just a couple. The curvature, the maximum curvature. And this is also, you know, it's random, so sometimes you don't get very much curvature even if you have it set to max. I like to keep it in the middle at 100. Seems pretty. I like to keep it 100. 
<laughs> this is your time range, your min and max time. That will be, you know, you'll get a random envelope that's in, within the min and max time. If you want to just set that to something, um, just put the min all the way down and the max, you can use the, or the, put the max all the way down and use, use the min to do, to set whatever your number is going to be every time. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. And using that, you can make some pretty crazy, you can use some, do some pretty crazy stuff here. I like to do a little something like this. Get a little bit of atmosphere going. Okay, so that's that's how you. This is that's the that's there's the there's that that's the thing that you want. There there it is. It's right there. So I'm gonna put it up on uh, the thing. Oh right. Oh, let's do this one too. This is a fun one. Okay, so this one's called. No, let's do this one. This is this one goes hand in hand with this. Yeah, sure. Okay, so here's uh, here's this one, um, and uh, basically, it just makes a new random number every time you hit a note. So you can just, but it makes ten random numbers. So you can do just one, or you can do ten, or whatever, and you see it gives you a new thing to look at every time. So now we've got these guys. Let's give that a little more room. with the spread random. So there you go. There's something fun to do. If you're bored, you can do that. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so I'll put those two guys up on uh, on World Related, and uh, you can have a little play around with them. All right. Take it easy.